Right, this is our fourth game for the Amiga Zill Wheel, and we are not messing around here, for this is Guy Spy. And the music's good. The intro music is quite good. And then there's... <laughs> it may be... Yeah, that screen the less good. <laughs> what the hell's going on there? Open wide! Okay, you can start opening your mouth now. So, fire to begin. Sure enough. Oh. Well, it's left uneasy. So, we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it on the, all its default settings. Yes. Oh, that's another... Oh, wait. Enter? Was it enter? Space. I forget. God, I hate this game already. Um, why can't we move? Oh, now we can. Why is the cursor so... What the hell's going on here? I thought we could... Should we move out of the way? No, nope, we got... Sh what? Oh, okay, I know. <laughs> I forgot about the death screen. The world is doomed. Okay, I'll tell you what. Okay, it starts us on the beginning. Get in there. I think. Because of those guys on the end? I tell you what, I'm going to save here just because I don't like all these little cutscene bits. But that will be the only time we're going to save state. Target that um, guy in the middle. Okay, that bit's done. Stupid trolley bit.
Oh, I had to. Oh, did you have dynamite? How do you. How do you. Oh, okay. I don't know how we got um, ammunition, but. God, I hate this more now. This was like part of the demo, and I thought this bit was okay, but it's like, nah, <laughs> it really is not. Uh oh. No, not a good time to reload. And now we've blown up. Maybe if I get too stuck on this, I'll just, um. Because it's been so long since I last played this. Well, I've never played it well though, so maybe... Me, I don't often save scum, I might make an exception on this one. on easy by the way <laughs> hard mode I don't know you probably like start off dead <laughs> it just says you failed I mean let's put it this way I don't I don't even want to put my enemies through this much torture. Yeah, screw it. We're safe here. Swallow our pride and just go for it. So you can go up. Okay, so down and up. Okay. So, okay, it seems like you just hold buy a button down there to... That bit I don't actually mind. Uh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, you can't actually, you have to... This one's weird, you can't actually attack her, can you? Can you sort of avoid her? Oh dear. Why can't... Hang on, where's, where's even the... How far can I move here? Oh. Yeah. And that's how we get killed. Amazing. Yeah, this part of the game, this bit here, 
actually kind of feels like a freaking game. Oh. Actually, I like this bit sucks. It, it sucks less than the rest of the sections. Right, you have to hold down fire and move the um, controller. That's how it is. Oh, it's not even that responsive <laughs> either. We are low on health though. One or two more shots. Are you ever gonna show up? Can I just seriously game? You can show up as soon as I Yeah, okay. Oh he died. Okay. the man just disappears <laughs> great great animation the animation of him vanishing Okay, saving again, I don't care. No prior, no proudness, no pride. Just because this game doesn't have any either. Um, okay, can we just go? Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought we... Damn it. We managed to get past her. Because, yeah, you can't defeat her. You can only avoid her. Or just try to get through to the door. But seriously, can't we just use the machine gun or the pistol just to sort of mow her down? <laughs> I 
I guess it would make more sense if she made an attack and then just sort of like eased off every strike she made. That would be a, you know, that would be clever because then it would give you time to just sort of evade her. <laughs> okay, that I don't know why that didn't um, knock us out completely like it did before. There you go. Well, that's how that's done. Save. Uh, yeah, okay, just <laughs> don't ask questions, just... Right, this bit I remember. I think movement's continuous here. Uh, this is called Guy Spy Crystals of Armageddon. And hello, me again, Trifles. Oh, okay. Okay, so that, that somehow killed us as well. Fine. The graphics here don't look too bad. It's somewhat responsive. I wonder if the explosions are random. Uh, Trap Shop, how's it going? Hope all is well. Oh, okay, so if you go too much in one direction, it just bounces you off the other one. Okay. Okay, so do we just do this all the time? Just go right and then left and right and then... Oh, that means... Okay, okay. So it's just, it's just like a guessing game, isn't it? Well, not a guessing game, just... I remember what to do game. So we stay right here twice. So the guys on the right um, throw bombs to the left and vice versa. Assuming we get the second guy on the right. There we go. Okay, then we move to the left. Okay, so two rights, a left and a right, so far. <laughs> Lighter on money due to, oh dear. Well, I hope we got some nice rarities. I was going to say, if you've ever purchased uh, this one, and I don't know why any any sane creature would, this would come... I think this one comes on six discs. And honestly, I'd hope it comes with like a comic book or something like that. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, that skin section's not too bad. It's just a case of remembering a few things. This was horrible. The Egyptian bit. So yeah, uh, Guy Spy had two demos. The one was on that, um, when you were on that tram with the guns and stuff, the pistols, where the guys threw the dynamite, that section. And the other section, so yeah, hang on, if we leave it here, it probably full, hang on, let's just not do anything. But yeah, remember there's two demos. Yeah, there you go, you get a sudden trap. Um, if you so yeah there's two demos one was of the um 
the pistol section. The other was we had to face off against a demigod and all you had was um, knives to aid you. That part actually had the most playability. And I think in the full game, when you're playing the full game, that section still stands out as the only section having the most playability. So uh, yeah, it just goes to show that they put in the best bits in the demo and then the rest of the game they just sort of churned out. Oh, you got Guy Spy. It's got some nice box art. Good. Well, that's, yeah, that's got to be its, one of its uh, few redeeming fe features. Like, to me, it'd have to have a comic book, like a, a model of Guy Spy posing. With removable clothes, no weight. Uh, okay, so we get to choice, what? Forward, left, or right? I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it might throw in a... F oh, and there's timing in it as well. But yeah, there's got to be a specific way. I don't know if it leaves or drops like any hints here, but... Uh... Uh, space. Yeah, I prefer the. I actually prefer Guy Spy to Space Ace. Space Ace is just kind of random. I know in the arcade it gives you like directions and things. In the Amiga, it does not. It's just a guessing game, and you have to remember which things to guess. I think there was a, like a specific section where you had to go like diagonal, as like yeah, no one's going to remember that. Or I think it was up and then right like a split second later. So even if you do memorize the patterns, you gone you gotta execute them flawlessly. And yeah, keep in mind we are using, yeah, we don't often use save states here, but in this game we will make the exception. The fact that you have to complete all this from the very, very, very beginning. Oh, hello. Go forward. Um, yeah, is insane. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So this is like in the demo bit. Surprised he hasn't attacked us. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So our energy is on the left, his is on the right. If he gets a direct hit on us, we die immediately. Otherwise, we'll just lose energy depending on how close we are to the sunbeam. I think we should have died there, to be fair. Uninvited vaguely rings a bell. I think the Amiga version differed a lot from the... Um, what was it on the NES? In that it used a more of a drag and drop interface. She feels quite slow to be honest. I do have a demo of this somewhere. Well, you know, I'm just like squaring off against the guy as shown. I'll have to compare them.
Bad timing on my behalf there. Yeah, I quite like the death animation. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, um, I mean, I appreciate the fact that you rearranged my body, but we still kind of died. Oh, crud, we have to do with that Mason again. Oh, damn it. Oh, was it a text-based game? Oh, okay. Maybe I'll get maybe again mix up with another uninvited. Didn't do anything in perfect order. Yeah, quite a few games were like that. I didn't know the world was at stake. Um, can you jump? Do you press fire to jump? Up? Nope. You just fall down. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> That's one of the more uh, lacklustre deaths. <laughs> like, it wasn't even a scream, it was just like a... Whoa, like a realisation. Yeah, I wish I remember what... where we went before. Okay. It really it really looked like oh what the hell? Okay. Face a mummy this time? Okay, epic battle of the century. I can press fire quicker than he can attack me. I don't think I can, can I? Wait, what why does what the hell? That did nothing of value at all. I just like turned around. Come on. Come on. Did... Okay, we defeated the mummy. A cool? Did we just... Oh, there's more. Uh, safe, perhaps? 
Maybe. Made me wonder if we did like bypass the um, demigod. That would be quite good if that were the case. There's a snake. Does the spider sound like Christmas decorations? Baz, hello, how you doing? You're doing alright, good stuff? Welcome to Guy Spy, we, where we have probably got lost somewhere. I don't know, it's like his shoulders are starting to sag. It's like, oh, let's go to bed. Okay, so how... How do I jump over fire? Is it forward and fire? It is forward and fire, okay. That's why I should have done that pit earlier on. Okay, so forward and fire on this spear. Oh, we gotta go now. Okay, welcome to the second half of this uh, of the game, where I just wonder and wonder and wonder why am I playing it? Oops. <laughs> okay, I, just, I was really impatient there. I just hit right and then just... Okay, fine. Okay, game. Is it... I'll tell you what. There. Make it the middle one. So we go forward from here. And looks like we can only go... Uh, right from there. Also, I'd love it if you could just move forward directly into the wall and just like give yourself a... Con concussion and die. Uh, left, right or straight ahead? Let's go right. Oh no, you can't. It looks like you can go right. Looks like there's a passageway there. Oh, okay, this guy again. Not sure if you have to like beat the mummy and the demigod, and then you like automatically make progress, or if you could just maybe even bypass both of them and just reach the end. Thank you. 
Come on, deserve to lose more energy than that. Struck him, we struck him right in the Cleopatra. Get a bit more aggressive now. There we go. There we go. Um, oh, what the hell? Don't remember this bit. Okay, just keep pressing fire, it seems to be the way to go. Guys, just like Prince of Perjury, but diagonal and not making any sense. Oh, another one's joined the fray. showing up. Maybe there is a bit more to it than that, but we we'll we see how far we get just by spamming fire. There we go. Barely made it. Save the hell up here. Why won't it save? Why won't why would you save? Save you Oh no, what's going on? Oh, for goodness sake, what is going on? I can, can't do anything. I guess I deserve this. Why is it suddenly locked on there? Oh, here we No. Yeah, the arrow keys aren't working. Oh, now it is. Okay. Oh, damn it. That was weird. Hell? Um Yeah, I've been I've been safe stating this one all the time. Three headed monkey, how's it going? What is it? It's just doing some kind of dance. Like check this out. Like a dog trying to urinate. Okay. Ooh, ooh. 
battle of the century. No saving during cutscenes? You can't order me about. <laughs> this is going to be the comeback of the century. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Pow. And, okay, well... Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, fine. Um, what was the last one? That bit. it straight ahead. I can't remember. Just keep moving until we faced until we face the demigod. <laughs> Stinky legs break the game. Yeah. Okay, quickly back on this one, nice. But yeah, it means doing this bit again. That's fine. So yeah. I don't normally um save state games, but this game is so just damn ruthless. And yeah, it was unfortunate that uh just so happened to crash when I tried to reload it. That was odd. That's what you expect. Just gotta roll with the punches. Now, um, does anyone, does anyone remember the directions? Because, uh, I don't. We'll just keep moving in whatever direction until we face him again. I mean, I'm just relieved to get past that first section. That would have been hell if we could even get past the train bit. I know. <laughs> really is dorky. You, you do this on purpose, I swear. It's the demigod.
Could have really died there. Well, that wasn't the case. They just like moved right into that sword. Damn it. Just hit our hand. I mean, <laughs> you're right, but it's not, <laughs> it's not really a point that can bring up dispute. I don't think I've known anyone to never, like, take a dump in their pants. N not deliberately, anyway. Sounds like someone's <laughs> sounds like someone's got a tale to tell. So back at college, I ate too much Hagen dust. And then forgot earlier that I had some curry couscous. Unfortunately, it was on the train and only 16 people noticed. But 
<laughs> helps to pick up the yeah, there you go. I never said I was good at impersonations, but I'm glad that you acknowledged, partially acknowledged that. I mean, I know you feel honored and privileged. Surprisingly well against this guy. As long as we don't get a direct hit. Oh, come on, really? One more hit? Okay, then we've got the fighters, haven't we? So just, yeah, just... Maybe they're trying to make it into like a timing sort of battle, but... I guess I only had one place tester on this bit. <laughs> it's polite that they take it in turns. I think that's quite admirable. So there we go. Don't know why we couldn't do that before. Yeah, so because we missed out on this cutscene the first time. Lion's Pride Bar. Him. <laughs> Why does he say woo when he ducks? Oh, is that... Is that an actual attack? It doesn't look like that... It is, okay. It doesn't look like that was supposed to connect. Oh, that's a block. Oh, okay. That, <laughs> that did squat. You've got to do something with that beer mug, haven't you? Like, is there a trick here that if you press a certain combination, you pick it up? And once again, why can't you just shoot him?
Okay. Well, I quite like that animation. Oh, wow. Three minutes and time is up. Um, yeah, Gaia Spy isn't that... I mean, I applaud its efforts, and it is better than, you know, Space Ace, in that the fact it's a cartoony sort of well-animated game with some, you know, and you got a bit of control with it as well. But, um, yeah, some of the scenes are just a little bit, uh, a little bit naff. In fact, a lot naff. Not my kind of thing. But I suppose it's entertaining nonetheless. So why does he have more health than we do? seconds though okay so 30 seconds into this bit oh wow okay so dark fire does that okay this board and fire these guys that we have to face. I gotta say the hour's up. We can't be greedy. We got to yeah, okay so let's leave it and see what happens. Can you teeter off the edge? Don't think you can. Go on. Oh come on you can do better than that. Can't you just one shot me? One shot me. I wanna see the death animation. Come on. All the let me gods freaking threw lightning at me. Is this the best you got? You and your freaking snook cues of death. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, I'm guessing there's probably like a mass of these kind of enemies. Otherwise they wouldn't just like do minimal damage like that. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was it. <laughs> that was it. Okay, great. Okay, uh, that was Guy Spy. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Yeah, and again, apologies for using the safe states, but um, yeah, I feel like this is one of those rare exceptions where if we did not, it wouldn't be as entertaining, I feel, anyway. But uh, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed that. Time to move on.